Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you a cool little multimeter today from Ella Joy. This is for testing solar panels. So if you're looking to buy used solar panels and check them out and make sure they're good before you bring them home, or if you've got existing panels and need to troubleshoot and things like that, or just maintain your system, this might be a handy little meter for you. So I'm going to show you everything about it today. So let's get right into it. So I've been using this meter right here from Ella Joy for roughly a month now. I've tried to keep it in good condition. I was putting it through all of its paces before I brought you this video to make sure it has been accurate and reliable, and yes, it has so far. So I'm gonna show you what you get right here. You get a hard case with it. You get the meter, you get two sets of leads and an instruction manual. The case is very nice. I said I've tried to keep it in good condition, so I've kept the original packaging on it the best I can, even the screen protectors. So there is the meter itself. So on the front of the meter, of course, you got your display screen right here. You have three different buttons on the front. You have an auto track MPPT, a manual MPPT, and a backlight button. The auto track cycles through every 15 to 30 seconds, depending on the wattage of the panel. It'll auto test and keep track of the panel. Or you can do a manual function. You just hit the manual button and it tracks it one time and it holds that reading on the screen for you. And of course, you got the backlight. Now, I opted for this version right here. This is the EY800 because most of the panels I'm testing or using are between 12 and 60 volts. And I'm using it mainly to check panels in a series string and things like that. I'll break the string apart, check each individual panel. But you can also check the string as long as you are within the specs right here of the voltage. Now, they make a larger version that goes up to 1800 watts. They've got a couple of different versions of this, but this is the one I chose to fit my needs. So the meter is very nice so far. And it comes with a set of alligator clip leads right here for whatever testing purposes you need. So, you know, those right there, I've not used these yet. I've been using the MC4 leads that come with it. So you can see right here, we got a nice set of silicone jacketed leads with your corresponding male and female MC4 polarity corrected for most panels. And then the manual is pretty straightforward. This is just pretty much plug and play. It's very, very simple to use. I'll show you a bench demonstration here in just a minute. Then we'll go outside and check some panels out in the sun. But you can see the manual, you know, shows you everything you need to know. Here's a list of the, you know, the recommended users, the manufacturer, distributors, installers, users, and solar panel fans. So maybe you're, you're one of those that's watching this video today. Let me know in the comments which of these you are. And then here's your troubleshooting guide. It's protected from reverse polarity and overcurrent and things like that. It's got all the protection. So it's pretty much foolproof. You can, you know, it's a pretty tough little meter. Uh, only thing I've yet to do with it is leave it out in the rain. So, you know, that's still to come. But shows you, uh, you know, everything about it right there. So just pretty basic little manual, you know, easy to use. So let me do a bench demonstration with it, and then we'll take it outside. All right, so I've got some bottled sunshine right here. I've got the Ella Joy meter, and I've got the alligator leads. So there's polarity, you know, marked right there. You can see everything. So you put your red lead in the positive and the black lead in the negative. So it's polarity corrected. And then I'm going to hook to this battery, and we'll track you know what this battery can do because it should be within the operating range of this meter so we'll check and see what we get right here so there's the meter right there let me zoom you in so you can see what it's doing i will turn the backlight on to see if that helps us with our view there we go so you can see pretty good right there so you know there's the backlight demonstration right there so you can do a manual track right there so it'll track it wow capable of 322 watts uh, that's pretty good. So then you can click the auto track button right there and it'll cycle through and test every 15 seconds. And then here we go again. So there's two test sequences. Shows you how it works right there. Testing. So it gives you a little time to finish and everything on there. So just showing you a bench test of how it works so we can see everything properly. So, you know, 325 watts. Now let's go outside and put it on some real panels. And one thing I didn't show you earlier was the reverse polarity protection feature. So I'm going to hook this up backwards and show you the reverse polarity protection. So if you got reverse polarity, it does nothing. It's just a blank display. So you know you have it backwards if you don't have a display. It's internally protected. So if you switch it back around to the right polarity, it lights right up just like it's supposed to. Pretty easy. We got a couple of panels set up right here. I got a 100 watt flex solar panel, 150 watt eco worthy, and I'm going to use the little Ella Joy meter to test the output of both of these panels. They've been out for the same amount of time. So, this, you know, the Ella Joy tool, I'm going to show you a use case scenario of how it would be useful for you. Like if you're going to go buy some used solar panels or something like that, or if you have a string of panels, 
you know, with one maybe underperforming, you can isolate the panel and find out what's your weak panel. I'm gonna connect to the 150 watt eco-worthy panel first. Just make sure your polarity is correct on everything if you've made your own ends or whatever, but this is just the standard ends on the panel. Connects to the Elejoy meter. You see right there, we get a display. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see this out of the sun. So right there, trying to get you a good angle where you can see what all is going on here. All right, so to use the little Elejoy, you can auto track it. So you can just push auto track right there and it'll track and refresh every 15 seconds on panels under 350 watts. You can see it's testing complete. 68 watts is what the panel is capable of producing. Okay, I'm gonna show you that again, a little, hopefully a little better angle right here. So I'm gonna do a manual track this time. It does not track but one time and stops. It doesn't auto refresh. So there you go, 62.72 watts on the eco-worthy panel. So you can see the you know VMP and the current and everything, the open circuit voltage, auto track button, and it will track every 15 seconds. Right there, 61.74 watts. So you can see the max power voltage is just just terrible on this panel it's right there so 62 watts out of 150 watt panel that one would be a fail if you were looking for a used panel now moving over to the flex solar i'll connect it and we'll test this little flex solar 100 watt that's all dirty so as soon as you connect it powers up so you can see the 100 watt flex solar 22.4 volts then come right here Auto track it. Seventy eight point six one watts, seventeen volts max power, four point six amps of current. You can see it's testing again. You can do a manual track right here. Click manual. Test it one time and it'll hold it right there. Seventy eight point six one. We're gonna go back to the auto track and it'll update every fifteen seconds. 78.42 watts so not too bad on a dirty 100 watt panel so the little multimeter from Elejoy is quite handy for solar panel testing you can run through panels quick you can take a, a set of 10 panels you can go through them in rapid amount of time that's a very convenient tool to have very easy to use you know is this the right tool for you if you've got one or two panels or you know just a little small set maybe not but if you have many panels or you like testing different panels or tinkering with panels yeah, that's a pretty good little tool to have. It saves you so much time. And if you're troubleshooting a string that's underperforming, you can break that string down and hit each individual panel and see where your weak panel is. So very nice little meter to have. And if you like this little Elejoy meter and want to look at the other offerings that they have, I'll provide a convenient link in the video description. Like I said, they got multiple versions of this. And Elejoy is also bringing out all kinds of new MPPT uh, charge controllers and things like that. And they've already got boost controllers. I'm using some of their boost controllers on golf cart batteries and things. And I've been impressed with all Elejoy stuff so far. So if you enjoyed today's video, questions about anything I did not cover, you know, if you got any more questions, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. So I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate it. Hit the like button. Thank Thank y'all for watching. Take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one. And special thanks to Ella Joy for providing this meter for me to test in the field for the last few weeks so I could share my thoughts with you and the viewing audience. Thank you.